I, I started growing vegetables 30 years ago at Riverford um, because I wanted to do something useful. For, um, my mum was a fantastic cook and my dad was a kind of nutty, innovative farmer. And I wanted to grow lovely food and kind of share it with people and, and see it cooked in the way that my mother cooked. I suppose that, that was the inspiration. Riverford is a really extraordinary business. We do everything from selecting the varieties, sowing the seed, growing it, picking it, packing it, grading it, delivering it, even getting into people's kitchens and giving them recipes of how, how, to, how to use the vegetables then. That's extraordinary. So when you buy a Riverford franchise, um, you are buying a defined territory, uh, which you have the exclusive rights to deliver uh, our lovely veg boxes and, and much more lovely organic produce to customers' doors. The life of a franchisee is, is not easy. You know, we work long hours. You know, if we've got shows on, we might be working all day. But it gives you great flexibility when, when you're not delivering. It means that I can do drop off and pick up with, with a school. I could never have done that in my old job. We have 61 franchise territories in the network, um, of which we grew last year at 6.5% sales growth. So, fantastic result. Within that group, we have our top 10 that were actually growing at an amazing 19%. So, as you can see, there's plenty of room for growth. Franchisees do come from all walks of life, but there are certain things that I think are common to our successful franchisees. They have to be passionate about food, you know, really love food, like talking about it, possibly even brave enough to do the odd cookery demonstration. So they have to be passionate about food, ideally passionate about veg too, because we're a bit obsessed by veg, so if you are too, that helps. They have to be brilliant with people, you know, they are the front line of Riverford in dealing with our customers and building our building our brand in their local community. So if they can be fantastic with customers, retain them really well, build a Riverford community in their local area, and they've got to really enjoy doing that. Riverford's a fantastic business, you know, a completely values-driven business. The largest independent retailer of organic food in the country, our sales have gone to over 60 million this year, and it's just a fantastic business to be involved with. At the same time, it's an opportunity for you to run your own business and make a success of that, which is something which can be incredibly rewarding. We are looking for franchisees who've come out of professional roles, you know, lots of different and varied backgrounds, whether it's IT or finance or marketing or sales, you know, there's no specific background that you come from, but we're looking for people who perhaps have got a bit disillusioned with their professional career, want to run their own business and still earn the money that they might have been earning before, but do something that they're much more in control of, go and do a day's work that they're going to feel really rewarded by when they finish their day and, and they go to bed. Typical investment levels, we have businesses that start from £15,000. Our average franchisee would be turning over around about £660,000 per annum. Um, there's approximately 22% gross margin that you'd expect as a franchisee. So we have varying different sized businesses within our network, We're right from a sort of one person startup who would be out doing all the deliveries themselves, would be doing all the, the marketing themselves and working in the office themselves, all the way up to um, our larger businesses, which would be operated uh, in, in a managed format. So therefore employing most of the people within the business. A day in the life of a franchisee would involve uh, going to one of the distribution hubs, uh, loading your vans, uh, and then going out uh, on your daily deliveries to deliver our lovely veg boxes to customers' doors. Um, you get plenty of opportunity to engage with your customers, to talk about our product, and to make sure that we are delivering, uh, obviously, a fantastic service on their doorstep. At the end of the day, uh, you'll probably come back to the distribution hub, and then, obviously, unload your van, and then go back and then uh, do some of the, the office uh, and admin associated with the business. And then your weekends, uh, quite typically, can be, uh, obviously, filled up with uh, doing lots of shows and events and, and other marketing activities. We're Riverford franchisees because we really believe in the ethics of the Riverford brand. It's a real company. What it says is what it does. And we were customers for many years and we wanted to really get involved in, in what the company does. When I took the franchise, what, so four and a half years ago uh, to now, uh, it's made me develop as a person, as a business person, um, you know, and my knowledge in the industry is, is, is yeah, it's developed hugely. It's enabled us to be in one place, have our own home, live under the same roof for a long period, which we never had with military. Um, and there's a lot of challenges that we quite enjoy in a perverse sort of way. So I have the best of both worlds. I'm getting to make money and I'm also getting to run a, an ethical business, which I strongly and passionately believe in. I think to be a Riverford franchisee, you've got to be fairly robust, um, organised, 
logical in your planning, but not be phased by things that happen because you will get through them. There's always someone in the network who can advise you if you've got an issue. It, it's, it's very rewarding and yeah, we've, we feel very close to our customers and enjoy what we do. We don't have any external shareholders. I own the business and it will soon be owned by the staff. Uh, we are not primarily driven by profit. Uh, you know, we're driven by wanting to do something valuable in the world. In order to achieve that, we have to make a profit, as indeed do our franchisees. But that's not the starting point. The starting point is just to do something useful and try and leave the world a little bit better than we found it. So if you're driven by, by success, um, if you're, you're hungry to, to grow a business, you've got a logistical mind, some fantastic customer service skills, ideally as well as some sales and marketing skills and a great love of food, then this could be a great business for you. If that sounds like you, why not think about becoming a Riverford franchisee?